freedom of God, this is the king of my God And whether you free or you born, this is where we all belong I know that we are the sons, I know that we have been called Let everything under the sun sing to the king on the dawn So Paul did a tremendous job demonstrating heaven's DNA towards leadership. He referred to his, his disciples as sons and daughters. Do you realize that that's a really awkward thing to do in the New Testament? Sometimes we're too formal. We don't like to recognize that we can have a covenant relationship with somebody that is not our biology. But when you're willing to take responsibility for someone's future and destiny, then you're willing to be hurt by them and for them to make sure that they get where they're going. And I don't know of any nursing mother that ever looked at their child and said, okay, that's enough, quit taking from me. Because that's what Paul compared himself to when he stepped into fatherhood as part of the body of Christ. There was a moment when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt and they got to the promised land. When they got to the promised land, guess what stopped? I know this is wild, but provision stopped when they grew up. All through the wilderness, they were given bread, they were given water. They get to the promised land, they said, God, there's no food. He said, shut up and make some. He said, why do the children of Israel cry to me? You're in the promise now. Start generating something for yourself. You are now not just made in his image. You're literally divinely infused with him. You don't have to pray to him. You can pray with him and create as he creates. But when it comes to leadership in the church, there are spiritual babes. The Bible refers to that word. I hate that word because I don't like the, the process of sanctification. Um, the set process of sanctification is a myth, but you are only able to express what has been revealed to you. So there's a group of people that are responsible to feed you revelation so that you can step into identity and destiny. And messy things happen along the way. How many of you know that to be true? So this is what Paul says in Galatians 4. He says, my little children for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. The word labor in the Greek language only had one definition. Okay, this is, this is one of the things that makes it distinct from the English language. In the Eng Eng English language, we, we have the word pain, right? It means it hurts. Our, our term pain is so general that when you go to the hospital, they have to give you a scale, right? Is it a zero or is it a 10? Okay, the Greek language isn't like that. There is a different word for pain for every level of pain. And the most intense form of pain is labor pain. And that is the only time that you are allowed to use that word is if you have experienced the undrugged birth of a natural child. Okay? So Paul steps into this place and says, I'm willing to labor in repetition until Christ is formed in you. That means I don't care how many times you shoot me, how many times you hit me, how many times you disappoint me, how many times you run out on me, until Christ is formed with you, I'm your dad. I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you, I've taken responsibility for your identity and destiny, I don't care what it costs, as a matter of fact, my name could be blotted out from the book of life, and I will not turn my back on you. That's heaven's DNA for leadership. So many times we're looked at as disposable or expendable when we don't come into agreement or we don't do the right thing. If you can't be used to build an empire, then you're no longer significant. That's Satanism. That's not kingdom. Paul says, I would gladly labor again. That means, the word literally means oscillatory repetition. I would feel the natural pain of childbirth over and over and over and over again until Christ is formed in you. And then just like Jesus does, he makes a distinction between true fathers and counterfeits. He says, they zealously court you, but for no good. Do you know what courting is? Courting is the phase of the relationship where you decide whether or not you'll commit. How many of you know there's no courting in the kingdom? You're in or you're out. Counterfeit leaders court. You can tweet that. Is Twitter a thing still? Am I going to have to say you can TikTok that soon? <laughs> Counterfeit leaders court. 
He says, they'll zeal zealously court you, but for no, no good. They want to exclude you so that you would be zealous for them. Do you see the picture? Have you ever been in a church where the pastor's this untouchable sage that knows more than you? That's not how you produce an ever-increasing kingdom. They have to create a floor for you that is their ceiling. The reason that we continually fall in an ever-increasing kingdom is because we want to create constant need for ourselves. We're not confident in our disciples being more fruitful than we are because we're afraid of being replaced. Here's the deal. In the kingdom, you can't be replaced because you're not a positional leader. You're a manifest son. I tell our leaders all the time, listen, this is the most comfortable environment that you can ever be in. You can't be replaced. If we've established somebody as a leader over an area, I, I told, like just as an example, I use Shanda as an example. I say, if Chris Tomlin walked in here, he would, he would be in subjection to you. Because talent doesn't make you positionally qualified. Right, you're a unique expression of who you are. You can't be replaced just because somebody more gifted comes in. It's not about gifting. It's not about offices, it's not about anointing, it's about identity, and your identity is something that only you carry. Only you now, only you throughout all of history. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to share this video with all of your friends. If you have any interest in finding out where Legacy Church is or watching this whole message, you can find the link in the description below. This is the freedom of God, this is the kingdom of God And whether you're free or you're born, this is where we all belong